After years of military service overseas, Emily was finally returning home. As she prepared to relax during the flight, a hoarse voice interrupted her thoughts. Sorry ma'am, but this seat is taken. Emily looked up and saw a middle-aged man standing next to her seat. A middle-aged man with sharp eyes and a serious expression was standing there watching her with interest. Emily felt a chill run down her spine when their eyes met. He looked determined, his gaze steady and his posture rigid. Who was that man and why was he staring at her like that? What do you mean? Emily asked, confused. That's my seat, the man insisted, indicating the number marked on the seat. Emily rolled her eyes, not wanting to argue. She got up, grabbed her bag and headed to the flight attendant for help. The flight attendant examined both of their tickets, confirming that the seat belonged to Emily. She apologized for the inconvenience and requested that the man move to another available seat. Emily felt relieved when she finally settled into her place. However, something about that encounter made her uneasy. The man looked familiar, but she couldn't place where she knew him from. As the plane gained altitude, Emily tried to distract herself by reading a book. However, her mind kept going back to the mysterious man. Who was he and why was he so determined to take his seat? Hours passed and Emily finally began to relax. The plane was about to land when the flight attendant approached her with a serious expression. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you again, but we need to talk, the flight attendant said in a whisper. Emily frowned, confused, as the flight attendant led her to a more private area of the cabin. What is happening? Emily asked worried. The flight attendant looked around, making sure no one else could hear before she whispered, that man who claimed your seat. He's not who he appears to be. Emily felt a shiver run down her spine. What do you mean? That man is a secret agent, the flight attendant revealed. He is on a delicate mission and needs to reach his destination as quickly as possible. He asked to take his place without arousing suspicion. Emily could hardly believe what she was hearing. A secret agent on board the plane? And she was chosen as part of her coverage? Heart racing, Emily returned to her seat, her brain swirling with questions and possibilities. She glanced at the mysterious man, now more aware of his presence. Who are you? Emily asked, her voice low and strained. The man looked at her, surprised by her direct approach. I can't tell you. Just know that I'm doing this to protect something important. Emily frowned, feeling frustrated at the vague answer. And how do I know I can trust you? The man sighed, looking regretful. You have no choice. Please just continue as if nothing is happening. Your cooperation is crucial. Emily felt torn. She wanted to trust the man, but something in her instinct told her to be alert. As the plane continued its journey, she was determined to discover the truth behind the mysterious man's cryptic words. As the plane crossed the sky, Emily found herself watching the mysterious man's every move. She was determined to discover the truth behind his presence on board. During a brief bathroom break, Emily grabbed her bag and approached the row where the man was sitting. She pretended to be looking for something in her own bag while discreetly watching the man fiddling with a small electronic device. Emily's heart quickened. That confirmed his suspicions that something very serious was happening. But what exactly was he doing? Before Emily could investigate further, the plane gave an unexpected jolt, causing her to lose her balance. She gripped the bench to recover, her mind spinning with thoughts of what she had just witnessed. As the plane continued its journey, Emily realized something was terribly wrong. An uneasiness hung in the air, as if the flight itself was in imminent danger. Sounds of alarms echoed through the cabin, and the crew began running from side to side, trying to calm the panicked passengers. Emily looked out the window and saw dark smoke coming from one of the plane's wings. Her heart sank in her chest as she realized they were in real danger. What is happening? She shouted at the mysterious man. He looked at her with a dark expression. We need to get out of here. Now. Without hesitation, Emily followed him through the crowded hallways, fighting through the panicked crowd. She didn't know where they were going, but she trusted the mysterious man's instinct to guide her. Finally, the mystery man took Emily to a secluded area of the plane where they could talk without being interrupted. What is happening? 
Emily asked, her voice shaking with tension. The man looked at her seriously. There has been a sabotage attempt. Someone is trying to shoot down this plane. His words hit Emily like a punch to the gut. Sabotage? Shoot down the plane? It was as if they were living in a thriller movie. Who would do something like that? Emily asked, her mind spinning with possibilities. We don't have time to speculate now, the man said quickly. We must find a way to disarm the threat before it is too late. Together, they began to search the plane for any signs of danger. Every moment felt like an eternity, with the threat hanging over them like a dark cloud. While investigating the plane, Emily and the mysterious man came across a disturbing scene. A suspicious suitcase was hidden in one of the luggage compartments, with wires and electronic devices apparently connected to it. That's a bomb, Emily muttered, her stomach twisting in fear. The man nodded grimly. We need to disarm her, but we need to do it carefully. Any false move in. He didn't need to finish the sentence. They both knew what was at stake. With shaking hands, they began examining the wires and devices, trying to figure out a way to deactivate the bomb before it was too late. Every second that passed seemed like an eternity, with the constant ticking of the clock echoing in his ears. As Emily and the mystery man worked frantically to defuse the bomb, the plane began to shake more violently. It was a race against time and they knew they couldn't fail. Finally, after a series of desperate attempts, an audible click filled the cabin. They looked at each other, holding their breath as they waited to see if they had made it. And then, a collective sigh of relief filled the air as they realized the bomb was defused. They had succeeded. Emily felt a wave of gratitude wash over her as she looked at the mysterious man next to her. He had saved their lives and she would never forget it. With the threat neutralized, the plane was able to land safely. Emily and the mystery man were given a hero's welcome, with the crew and passengers expressing their gratitude for having averted the impending disaster. But as everyone celebrated their good fortune, Emily felt a sense of unease creeping into her mind. There was something about this whole situation that didn't make sense. It was then that she saw it. As the crowd dispersed, the mysterious man caught her eye and gave her a meaningful nod. And then, in a moment of pure shock, Emily realized the truth. He was not a secret agent. He was a terrorist. A wave of horror washes over her as she understands the extent of the betrayal. He had used it to defuse the bomb, thus buying himself time to get away with it. And with this terrifying realization, Emily realized that the battle was far from over. She would have to use all of her military skills to hunt down the man who deceived her and ensure that he could never threaten innocent lives again. After the shocking revelation about the mystery man's true identity, Emily felt torn between anger and confusion. That's why Emily immersed herself in a meticulous investigation. With the help of her military contacts and sharp deduction skills, she traced the man's story to the point where their lives first intersected. It was then that she discovered the true nature of their bond. Emily remembered that fateful day during the bombing when she was on a desperate rescue mission. Among the wreckage and destruction, she found a scared little girl, trapped under the rubble. Without hesitation, she risked her own life to rescue her, protecting her from imminent danger. And now, before her, stood the daughter of that mysterious man. The same girl she saved years ago. The meeting between Emily and the young woman was emotional and full of tears. The girl, whose name was Sarah, hugged Emily gratefully, thanking her for giving her a second chance at life. The mysterious man, whose name was David, watched the scene with mixed emotions. He eventually revealed to Emily that after the bombing he had lost contact with his daughter and was convinced that she had died in the tragedy. The discovery that Emily had saved Sarah filled him with profound gratitude. But there were still more secrets to be discovered. Emily soon realized that something else was hidden. David looked uneasy and hesitant as if he were evaluating his words. Then finally he said, I'm sorry for bothering you again, but we need to talk privately. Emily frowned quizzically and asked, about what? The man looked around, making sure no one else could hear before whispering, your life is in danger. Emily's eyes widened with surprise and alarm. Like this? David explained to Emily that she was the target of a dangerous conspiracy. 
That as much as she thought he was a terrorist, he was actually a secret agent tasked with protecting her and ensuring her safety during her stay at home. Emily was shocked by the revelation, struggling to process the gravity of the situation. She always knew her military work put her at risk, but she never expected the danger to follow her home. As the mysterious man detailed the threats against her, Emily felt a mixture of fear and determination to get hold of her. She would not allow anyone to intimidate her or put her in danger, no matter how powerful her enemies were. And so, she accepted David's protection, preparing to face the upcoming challenge. As Emily adapted to David's constant presence in her life, she also began to investigate threats against her on her own. She sifted through the details of her past missions, looking for any connection that might explain why someone wanted her dead. But the more she dug, the more questions came up. Emily uncovered cryptic clues and dark conspiracies that left her questioning who she could truly trust. As danger loomed ever closer, Emily realized her only hope for survival was to uncover the secrets buried in the past before it was too late. As Emily continued her investigation, she came across a clue that led her to an unlikely source of help, David, the mysterious man who protected her. She confronted him with her findings, demanding answers about his true identity and motivations. To her surprise, the mysterious man didn't back down from her questions. Instead, he revealed his story and his reason for protecting her. It turned out that the mysterious man was not a secret agent, but an ex-military man who had been recruited by a clandestine organization to protect Emily. He had his own personal reasons for wanting to keep her safe, reasons that were deeply intertwined with Emily's past. They followed a trail of clues and intrigue that led them to dark and dangerous places, where danger lurked around every corner and betrayal was a constant threat. Emily was determined to discover the truth, even if it meant facing her past and defying the powerful forces that were determined to stop her. As Emily and the mysterious man delve deeper into their investigation, they come across a shocking discovery that would change everything. One dark and stormy night, they followed a clue that led them to an isolated mansion on the outskirts of town. There, they discovered a clandestine network of conspirators involved in a complex plot to overthrow the government. But what shocked them most was the identity of the leader behind this conspiracy, Emily's own father. As she looked at the man who had raised her, a tumultuous mix of emotions washed over her. Anger, betrayal, disbelief. How could his own father be involved in something so sinister? David was also stunned by the revelation. He realized he had underestimated the gravity of the situation and the depth of the connection between Emily and her father. Now they were faced with an impossible choice, confront the man she called her father or run away before it was too late. Emily struggled to process the true extent of her father's betrayal. He had always been an authority figure in her life, someone she trusted and admired. As she pondered her next steps, David counseled her wisely. He knew that confronting her father could be dangerous, but it was also the only way to ensure the safety of everyone involved. But Emily hesitated. She didn't know if she had the courage to stand up to her father, even though she knew it was the right thing to do. She wondered if there was some part of him that still cared about her, or if he had lost himself completely in his quest for power. With a heavy heart, Emily finally decided to face her father and confront him with the truth. She and David prepared to storm the mansion and confront the leader of the conspiracy. As they progressed through the mansion's dark, eerie hallways, they faced armed guards and deadly traps, each step taking them closer to the final confrontation. Finally, they reached the room where her father was meeting with his accomplices, planning the next steps in their conspiracy. The confrontation was intense and emotional, with sharp words being exchanged and dark secrets being revealed. Emily courageously confronted her father, demanding answers for her actions and confronting him with the pain he had caused. But just when it seemed that the conflict would reach a critical point, an unexpected turn of events changed the course of events. While Emily and her father were at the height of their confrontation, David noticed something that had escaped his attention. A shadowy figure was stealthily approaching the room, ready to unleash a new wave of chaos upon them. With a warning shout, David lunged forward, pushing Emily away from imminent danger. But before he could fully react, a deafening explosion echoed through the room, sending debris and smoke flying everywhere. When the dust settled, Emily stood up, her heart clenching with fear for what she might find. 
She looked around, looking for David, her protector and ally in every battle so far. But what she saw left her paralyzed with shock. Amid the wreckage and devastation, Emily saw David lying on the ground, seriously injured. His eyes met and she saw the pain and grief reflected in them. With tears in her eyes, Emily approached him, her voice shaking with emotion. R, are you okay? The mysterious man shook his head weakly, his breathing shallow and uneven. I did what I could to protect her. Emily held her hand, feeling a mixture of gratitude and grief wash over her. She never imagined that the journey that began with a meeting at the airport would lead to this pivotal moment, where she was about to lose the one who had become more than an ally, he had become a friend, a confidant, and even family. And with her last words, David, the mysterious man, her true identity. I, I am your brother. David's words echoed in Emily's mind like thunder. Her brother. The revelation left her stunned, shedding new light on all the events that had led them here. As she absorbed the magnitude of the revelation, the pain of parting began to seep into her heart. Her brother was seriously injured, and she knew their time together was quickly running out. With tears in her eyes, Emily knelt beside him, holding his hand tightly. She knew he had sacrificed everything to protect her, and now it was time for her to pay him back. I'm so sorry, she whispered, her voice breaking with emotion. I'm sorry for everything that happened, for everything you had to endure. Her brother smiled weakly, his gaze meeting hers tenderly. You have nothing to apologize for, Emily. You're the reason I did all of this. You're my family. Emily felt a tightness in her chest as his words sank into her heart. She never knew she was so alone in the world until she found her brother, and now she was losing him forever. With one last sigh, her brother closed his eyes, his breathing becoming weaker and weaker until it ceased completely. Emily held her hand for a moment longer, letting the tears fall freely, before finally standing up to face the uncertain future that lay before her. As Emily said goodbye to her brother, she also prepared to face the consequences of her discoveries. With the conspiracy finally dismantled and her father arrested, she was free to start a new life. But the price of truth had been high, and Emily knew that the scars of war, both physical and emotional, would never completely disappear. However, she was determined not to let the past define her future. With the help of old friends and new allies, Emily began to rebuild her life, finding strength in adversity and hope in the unknown. She knew the road ahead would be difficult and full of challenges, but she also knew she was not alone. Her niece would always be with her from now on. And so, with a heart heavy with loss but full of determination and hope, Emily embarked on a new phase of her life, ready to face whatever fate had in store for her. For at the end of the day, she was a warrior, a survivor, and nothing could stop her now.